Let me introduce a new term to you. Uh, at least it's new to me. You might know the term, but it was new to me. It's the term a salvaged leader. You know it? Salvaged leader. Let's talk about that on the podcast. <laughs> So y'all know this person, this uh, this person who's really, really hell-bent to push back on what you got to say. Hell-bent to say, I can't give up discipline because if I give up discipline, the whole organization will go into chaos. It'll be terrible. People will be running with scissors. You know these people. You, they, they fight you hard. They look at you and they're mean. And, and, and they actually, they spend nights and weekends thinking of ways to take you down, to make you look stupid in front of your bosses. You know these people. You can name them. Hi, everybody. This is uh, the Pre-Accident Investigation Safety Moment Podcast. It's the little short podcast we do between the big, long podcasts. You know, if you've been listening for a while, you know about these. And today I want to talk to you about this idea of salvage leader. And it's a, it's a term that actually comes from really change management and organizational development scholars. So these are people who don't do safety, but they do change. And you know as well as I do that a major part of our job as safety and reliability people is change management. So we're not very far away from them, but they do it for a living. And they talk about this notion of a salvage leader, and that's a leader who's pushed back and dramatically resisted change for lots of reasons, mostly because they have a lot of vested interest in not changing, because not changing, I don't know if you know this, but not changing, way easier than changing. Changing, difficult. Not changing, pretty easy. They have developed this entire category of a leader who pushes hard and resists until that leader sort of crosses the line and becomes a remarkable advocate for your change, for your program. And you know what? You can name that person too. Oh, sure, you can name the mean guy that fights back all the time. But you can also tell the story of the person who was your strongest critic until they weren't. Until one day they came in and said, you know, I just read that book or this book, or I just thought about it, I started listening to this. And, and you know what? You're right. And what's amazing about that is this ability to leverage that leadership, this salvage leader, that really is what change looks like. And I guess I give this podcast for two reasons. One is that that's pretty hopeful, and it's nice to have something to hope for. And a lot of the people that are pushing on you hard are going to be your strongest advocates. They'll speak the song as loudly and as clearly as it can be spoken anywhere. The second reason I tell you is because when people push back, I want us to remember that the potential for them to become a salvage leader, a, a leader that becomes a hero, is always really, really high. That's what we do, is we manage the potential for people to be successful. And that's our jobs. That's us. That's who we are. And that, my friends, is a new term for today. That is the safety moment, salvage leadership. Learn something new every single day. Bet you did today. Have as much fun as you possibly can. And for goodness sakes, be safe. (laughs) 